The show stopping. Local phenom. Naturally gifted. Urban magic. Do not use that nickname in this house. All Finkley, Black Kim TV. What's up, Quincy? What's up, Jamal? I see the swag. You swag. You know, this is not props. This been here. You know what I'm saying? This, I already this, know. I buy this shirt for this, but, but what I did is I watched this and I loved it, man, because it told so much of the story that I didn't know. And I, mm -hmm. I didn't know about you, this this actor that's, make, that's, that's making this breakout role here. So I'm excited to talk to you about it. And um, how did it feel playing Irvin Magic Johnson, who's so many, he's already so many people. Like, how do you even, like, you know, put that into a time period and try to be who he was then when we know him as this businessman, this father, this, like, all these things to the community? Yeah, man. So knowing all of those things about him, it's like, where does he come from? You know what I mean? Like, how did this, this, um, this mogul, this icon, this, this, um, this mountain of a man become that? And, and we, and finding out that we started in 1979, I get to, I get to have fun with it, man. Cause it's like, I know where he becomes and I get to kind of, I get to play in this, um, this childlike space of like, crafting this character and like figuring out what it was that uh that that made him want to get into business like how he did that made him want to be in the public eye like how he was and like be a role model and like and choose to be uh choose to be an icon you don't be, just become an icon you choose that you 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 every choice that you make is catered towards becoming um being great, you know, and just seeing that as a 20 year old, and you know, obviously, you're gonna make mistakes along the way, but like, just all the way over, brothers. How you doing, Chris? Yo. What's up? What's going on, man? You, this, I'm what? Sorry about early, you know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we can this we this the world we in, man. One day, we're gonna be face to face talking about season two, three, four, and five of this, this show because you really, that's right. Kill yeah, in your breakout role as Urban Magic Johnson. And I mean, I, I can't say how much I love the show and how much I didn't know about the Showtime Lakers that I loved mm -hmm. that the show was exposing me to. How do, I mean, how did you prepare for this role? Because Magic Johnson is more than one person. He's, you know, he's a businessman. He's a community leader. He's like, how did you find a slice of magic and be able to tap into that to play that role? Yeah. Um... I think for me, being from Michigan, like I already had that kind of hometown understanding of what it feels like to be from and not Detroit, coming from Lansing. And then I'm from Muskegon, Michigan, which is another small town that's um, on the west side of Michigan. And leaving there and coming to L.A. at age 20, I was 22. Magic was 20, 19, 20 years old in the show. And to be able to um, to understand that that fish out of water experience, I think one of the big things, um, obviously, you know, you go back, you watch as much footage as you can, you try and understand um, who this icon was as a twenty year old, and not really uh, focus on playing the icon. You focus on playing a twenty year old phenom that's moving from Michigan, not Detroit, but like Lansing, Michigan, to Los Angeles, California in 1979, you know? And and just that that culture shock of um, one, having a lot of money and also being from, the, coming from the Midwest and now you on the West Coast and now a lot of people know your name, but it's not the same people you grew up with. And just like really trying to um, figure out what that feels like and how that might affect who you are as a person. And I think early on, you can see that as Magic is um, as confident as he is. He also, he kind of can step, take a step back at times and like be like, damn, is this for me? Is this who I, who I am? And is this right for me? And I think that's a, a, um, a reoccurring theme of like, Nah, this is me. This is who I'm. I want. I want more than this. I don't want just this. I want more. And 
playing with that, you know, and figuring out when, when he is the magic man, when is he just Earth, you know. pull off the smile and the charisma but how difficult was it? Are, you, are you a former athlete to pull off the moves because you couldn't come out here looking like you wasn't magic on the court like people would have like yeah turn the channel but you, you know exactly. you gave no look passes all this stuff like yeah. how, like how did you how how did you develop that part of it i mean were you coming from already being like uh, uh having those basketball skills already right yeah, well, I, we all knew, like, if I, if I didn't bring it, we I was going to get dumped. So, uh, first and foremost, I had to make sure at least something was right. And the passes, I hope that was one of the ones. I was like, okay, I can see it. But, again, like, just um, I am an athlete. And coming from uh, – I played football uh, up into my junior year of college. And then basketball, though, that was, like, my first love. So, I just – I played pickup from – three no I, I wouldn't say I played pickup but I played organized basketball from like three to sixth grade and then from then on I played pickup basically the rest of my life and I still play it every day not every day but I still play it religiously so just um I think that passion for the game helped me figure out uh just his moves and like really pay attention to it and, I, and again we did have a, a basketball coach uh, Edon Ravine, who helped me like really build that mold of of magic and really like helped me adjust like the shot, getting the shot down because my shot was horrible. It was horrendous. I'm not gonna lie. That was not a strong suit in my game. I was I was the hustle defender, get rebounds. I was the football player playing basketball. I had to turn into like like a swan. You know, uh, like how that game, they, they talk about the swan in our show. Like, that's the first episode name is the swan. And I really felt like I needed to become that as a basketball player because Magic was just so pretty in everything he did. And it was, it was, you know, the facial expression, everything. So just, um, again, being able to bring all of that into it, it um, was really important to me. Buzzer beater, top five Lakers, no particular order. What's your top five Lakers? Top five Lakers. Shaq, that's my favorite Laker of all time. Kobe, obviously, RIP. Uh, Magic, of course. This is where it gets tricky. Kareem, and then I got to I gotta go Jerry West. Like, I, 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 I yeah. You can't, can't nobody argue with you, bro. I mean, you can say you can say ten uh, ten different Lakers, and people have to get respect. And we got respect. Put yeah. respect. Quincy, I can't wait to see your career from here. This is a great breakout role. I can't wait to see everything you got in the future, man. I can't wait to see more seasons of this show, man. You're fantastic. Appreciate the time. Appreciate you, bro.